Don't judge me, challenge be like. Bitch, it's my face cream. I ain't got no words about y'all. Ain't, ain't nothing to judge about this. Mm -mm. Good afternoon slash evening slash almost nighttime, my sexy, beautiful people. My nose ring sticking out. I would like to start my video off by saying thank you to all you who wished me sleep and wished me rest and wished that my food was good. My food was bomb. And I did get rest. I actually slept a lot better than I usually do, which is great. So yay for that. I went to bed like, I got into my bed at like 11. So as soon as catfish was done, I was in my bed and I was happy. So I'm in my park, well, one of my parks in my area because it was super hot today. I mean, I've been inside all day working, but it's been hot today. So I'm just kind of trying to enjoy this last week of summer because girl, it will be the last week of summer. I'm just walking through this park. There are leaves all over the MFN ground. And at work, there's a giant ass Halloween display. I'm like, really? Like, can we get to September 1st? Like, can we like, come on, like, it's still 30 degrees. Like, why are we talking about Halloween? Like, Halloween's at the end of October, not the starting. Not the middle, not halfway through, like, no, it's at the very end, the last day. So chill with that. I hate commercialization like that. It really gets on my nerves. Same with Christmas. Right after the Remembrance Day, they have the Christmas shit up. I'm like, can you not? And the Christmas music playing. The Christmas music, guys, like, working in a grocery store, the Christmas music starts November 12th. I kid you not. November 12th, and you hear it all the way up until New Year's. No, hunty, that's not cute. So... I'm chilling on the ground by myself because I don't have friends. <laughs> no, I, I do have friends. They're just not in my area. So I like to chill by myself anyways because, yeah. So chilling by myself. Really what I want to talk about today, I have a story for you guys. Um, I don't know. It's kind of a funny story. I mean, it took place a long time ago. I was three years old and I ran away. You guys are probably like, Bishwe, you were three years old. How did you run away? Well, I'm going to tell you how I ran away. So, if you guys have seen my video yesterday, and I've had a video on the past where I was walking to work, that's the pathway that I've walked my whole life. Like, it connects to a tunnel, uh, which is the transitway system, and there's like a little mall at the end of it, pretty much. So anyways, my story, I ran away. To there but you will know how so I was three years old I remember this very 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 well my older sister Delissa was babysitting me and my younger brother who was like a newborn at the, not a newborn but he was under one I think because we're four years apart and I was around three so what he was born in August though so yeah I was almost what Something doesn't add up. But anyways, my younger brother was born. So whatever the difference was, I don't know exactly what month this happened in. But I was young. It was before I started school, for sure. So I was like, this doesn't make sense. But anyways, I was around three. And I had a best friend who lived across the street. Her name was Corinne. She was a little French white girl. And we were best friends. We always used to do anything together. We would always hang out together. And we were really, really good friends up until she moved away. She had moved to Quebec when we were in, like, elementary school. So, yeah, we had always been really good friends for years. So, anyways, we're three years old, and I don't really know how it all played out. I don't remember what words we said or what, but all I remember is we decided that we were going to walk to the mall. Sounds like a great idea, right? Just two, three-year-olds walking by themselves to the mall. But we did it. So anyways, my sister was busy watching my brother, and we ended up leaving. Excuse me. We walked to the mall, and I remember this very, very well, because we went in a whole bunch of stores in the mall. Like, there's a store called Bulk Barn, and they sell, like, bulk everything, like bulk candy, bulk herbs, bulk, you know, stuff like that. So we went to Bulk Barn. I remember specifically, I remember this like perfectly till this day. I stole candy that day. I surely did. I was a felon at three years old. Damn shame. I grabbed my bag, I filled it up with candy, and I walked right out. Mm hmm. I walked right out, 
me and my girl bounced our little three-year-old asses. We bounced out the store, and we were walking back towards the tunnel, through the tunnel, and like I said, it's connected to the transit way. So, um, we were about to get on a bus. Mind you, at this point, my sister had called my mother, she was at work, called my dad or somebody, and, you know, called the police as well. Because, like, um, my three-year-old sister is missing. I don't know where she went. There's no way of finding out because I was watching my brother. I think she was giving my brother a bath or something. So, she was obviously occupied on him, so we just walked away. We walked away. We were about to get on the bus. Thankfully, one of my mom's friends saw us on the bus. I, I remember this perfectly. Like, I remember this like it happened last year. Like, yesterday. Like, a week ago. Like, I remember it so perfectly. So, anyways, we were about to get on the bus, and the lady was like, um, these kids are alone. They cannot get on the bus. What the hell are they doing here? And people know, because they're like, look out for these two girls, they walked around, they went missing, blah, 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 blah. So anyways, we were celebrities for running away at three years old and stealing candy. So, on that day, I got my first ride, and my only ride, let me, let me make that clear, my first and only ride in a police cruiser, I was escorted back to my home in a police cruiser at three years old. That is my badass motherfucking three-year-old. I'm an independent three-year-old ass bitch with my diapers story. Yes. Yes, girl. We were safe. We was thugging. We stole that candy. And you couldn't tell us shit because we're three years old. What are you going to say? Um, excuse me. Did you pay for that? I'd be like, bitch, goo goo gaga. Uh-uh. Like, no. You can't talk to me. Stranger danger. You can't even try and talk to me. Bish would. We was smart as fuck. That's my story. I think that's a really funny story. I mean, it's. I think it's funnier the fact that I know the story so perfectly and I've said it a million times and people are always like, how did you manage that? But we managed it. We pulled it off like Bonnie and Clyde, like Bonnie and Bonnie, because we were two little ass girls and we were fly as fuck. Mm-hmm. On a side note... After work, I went to the beauty supply store. I picked up two black opal foundations. I didn't even know we had black opal in Canada. Like, I was, like, so shocked. I was like, what? Black opal? I was about to order that online, girl. Hunty, let me tell you. I was about to order that online. I went to the beauty supply store because I had to buy some hair for my hairstyle, which I'm going to do tomorrow, which I will not tell you because it will be a secret. So, I picked up two of the foundations, and I will do a review on those and tell you guys how I like them when I wear them, which may be tomorrow in my other video, which I'm going to do tomorrow. So, that's my story. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys, just let me know what you thought. Isn't it funny? Like, a three-year-old running away, stealing candy, going home in a police cruiser, like, what? Like, yeah. And then, a star was born. Gazes off into the distance. Just kidding. All right, guys, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you like, comment, su subscribe. And just keep up with me. Interact with me. I love talking to you guys. I love hearing from you guys. I love comments. I love, I respond to all my comments. As long as they're not flagged as spam or if I get a notification late or whatever have you, I always respond to them, like, right away as soon as I get them. So, interact with me, y'all. If you want more stories, let me know. I have stories. I have stories for days. Trust me. Trust me, girl. All right. So I'll see you guys later. Tomorrow. I'm telling you, I'm keeping it with this Vetus. This is my Vetus number three, September 3rd. I'm going to say that in every video as well. The date and the number, which will always be the same because it's the same all the time. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. That's all for today. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Mmm, turn up. Mmm, mmm. I am so crazy, y'all. And no, I'm not on anything. I'm completely sober. This is my personality, y'all. So, if you like how crazy I am, let me know. Let me know. Alright, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.